have you been feeling a little anxious? Well, let me share with you some of the things that help me when anxiety hits. My channel I'm Andre. Today's video is a favourites video and it's a favourites to do with my anxiety but first of all make sure you're sitting back comfortably with your favourite beverage. Mine is a glass of white. Cheers! Now that you're sitting comfortably if you're not already subscribed I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Whilst you're there you can ring my bell which will notify you every time I upload a video and of course a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Okay before I start talking about my favourites let me explain how this video came about. So in one of my recent vlogs I spoke about my anxiety. I have spoken about my anxiety quite a few times in the past and it just seemed to get such a good reaction in the comments and I loved hearing your stories with your anxiety because a lot of you said to me that it helped you because I was talking about it. Well, in the same way it helped me when you told me your story about it. Now, anxiety hits in many different ways. Everybody's anxiety is different. Let me just quickly go over mine, how mine affects me and, and, and how it shows itself. Well, I get that horrible, horrible feeling in my tummy. I feel as if my body is, is anxious, it's just on alert the whole time. I also suffer with, and this is not fully gone away because I still have a bit of fear about that, it kind of manifests itself in my throat where I think I can't swallow my food and if I swallow my food I feel as if I'm going to choke. Sometimes like some people may like your phlegm may go down the wrong way and you go <coughs> I go into a pure panic and I catch my breath on that and then I think I I can't take a breath and I can't breathe I can't draw in air that doesn't happen often but when it happens to me it's very very frightening so that's the symptoms of my anxiety. That's how my anxiety shows itself. Of course, sometimes anxiety could bring on depression as well. And that's, again, an entirely different thing. So let me share with you some of the things that help me when I get episodes of anxiety. Now, I'm lucky I have lots of friends and family that are always there for me but they cannot take that feeling away because when it hits you the only person that can take it away is you yourself because the person you're fighting is yourself okay my last real bad episode I was talking to my daughter-in-law about it who has also in fact both my daughter-in-laws have suffered with anxiety and I was talking to Kelly about it and she had read The Secret and she just bought it for me and sent me it and honestly this really really does help it's not a book that you read all the time or you have to finish in fact I didn't finish it I got to a point where I didn't need to finish it if I need it I go back to it it's a book that I can go back to time and time again so this book it teaches you about gratitude it teaches you to visualize what you want in fact this book reminded me of my natural instincts that I used to have and somehow I'd lost so you know if I when I was young and I wanted a bike I, I would sit and dream about this bike you know when people say to you when you're young stop daydreaming 
this teaches you that that's a good thing because you're visualizing yourself on that bike you know you're, you're visualizing your new kitchen yourself in that new kitchen i used to do that naturally if i wanted myself i used to stand and look at the space of whatever i wanted to improve on and i would visualize it that for me was very a very very natural thing to do somehow I lost that this reminded me to do that again and it helps you understand gratitude again when gratitude became a thing people were all talking about it and I thought well, let, me, let me sit down and do three things that I'm grateful for I'm not kidding you I sat there and I was like you know I didn't I didn't know to like I have so much to be grateful when I sat initially at the big you know when I first heard about gratitude it was like mm. but actually when you look around you and we have so much to be grateful for and it's okay to sit there every day and say thank you for my home thank you for my family you know I you know initially you think oh i have to change it up i have to have no you don't you know there's uh, there's somebody in this book that talks about the minute the the minute they wake up in the morning and they swing their legs around from the bed and they put their feet down onto the ground and stand up they are thankful for that think of the people that can't do that when you're standing there brushing your teeth i i even started doing this brushing my teeth and it would be brushing my teeth and i was like Thank you for my own teeth. Thank how many people have lost their teeth? You know, it sounds so simple, but it really teaches you to be grateful for the everyday simple things. So I really, really enjoyed this. It's also taught me to do a vision board, which I have sitting behind me just here as well. I actually really really enjoyed doing that I really really but these these I used to have in my head when I've got oh I'd like this and I would like that and it's okay to want things because sometimes we're made to feel guilty about wanting things but it's okay this teaches you it's all right to want and dream about things so the secret i found this really really helpful and it's something i go back to and it relaxes me when i'm reading it as well just it just it's it's about the whole aspect and this is part of it so that's been really really helpful now the other thing i found really really helpful was doing yoga i've never really been into yoga and i i'm not a flexible person i'm not really into i've never been into it even now when i'm at a place where i'm okay just now i don't do yoga but when i'm having that anxiety the first thing i do is i do yoga and the thing that really helped me was a girl on youtube and i'll link the specific video in my description box was adrian big 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 youtuber Adrienne, I think that's her name, Adrienne, and I, I had just um, put into YouTube um, yoga for anxiety. So it's not all these moves that were way above what I could do. It was more about focusing on your breathing. And she does this exercise, and I found this really, really, really helpful when I was anxious, where she takes, I think it's her thumb and one of her fingers, a ring finger, or I can't remember now, it doesn't really matter what fingers you use and she just kind of holds one nostril breathes in she holds it up at the top changes her finger let's let's go of the one nostril and then releases and then breathes in again from the same nostril swaps over and again and she keeps doing that and that really relaxes you and you just focus on your breathing i know there's a lot of different types of breathing techniques and you basically need to find what one works for you there's the square one where you, where you hold in for so long and let go for so long you visualize the square and you do that so it's in hold out hold and you go on like that but I, I I love this one. I sit there. Mm. 
and it goes on like that and I really whew, it really just, just takes you down so that's one thing second youtuber that I have absolutely loved is Sydney Cummings and of course exercising is a thing that just helps you and so I do my yoga I do my breathing and I do my Sydney Cummings workout or I go for a run and I go for a run I put my music on I'm feeling really anxious and the weather's okay I get my earpods in and out I go and I run and I run and I just listen to my music and I sing as I'm running and I just keep on running that's another thing that helps me and music so if I'm in the house and I'm doing housework and I'm feeling really 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 anxious I get those airpods on and I just put on my music so I'm focusing on something else because like I said anxiety is about what's going on up here you need to kind of tell your brain you're okay you're safe you know that they, they say you know to touch something smell something things like that so that's in the same thing you get your music on you're listening to music and it it's just focusing on something other than the fear you have at that moment whatever it is sometimes you're in fear and you don't even know what you're in fear of the other thing i felt was guilt because i felt guilt that i was anxious and i had nothing to be anxious for was the other i kept saying i'm safe i've got my family my family is safe and you know with covid going you hear people losing their close family they couldn't be with them and blah. i kept thinking you know I, I kept telling myself snap out of it because what have you got to be anxious for but anyway you can't just snap out of it but these things can help you they honestly honestly can the other thing is at the time when i was going through my anxious mode i bought a diffuser and i filled it with lavender so i could have the lavender going and also the, the you know it lit up as well but what happened with me with that was eventually it I associated that with anxiety so the minute I put that on my brain said oh that's that's you you're you you must be anxious so for me that diffuser became a trigger if I put it on so I kind of stopped using it so if I put it on at night and the light would come on and that the whole the sound of it was a trigger for me it, it wasn't a good thing in the end I've kind of moved that out in my hall and I kind of like it now in my hall what I have found really really helps me is this little setup here now I have this sitting next to my bed so this was a gift from two of my friends so part of it was a gift from one friend and another part of it was a gift from another friend so the one part was this so this sits next to my bed and it's like a ritual every night so what i do is i turn the sticks over at night oh, that's one of my hairs there <laughs> i turn the sticks over at night and i spray either one of these sprays on or i put that on my silk pillow which is another thing that i find relaxes me my silk pillow and so this is like my ritual at night I could, uh, there's a light smell of lavender and chamomile and all of that going on and it's my little ritual just before i go to bed and then i put either some of this oil on my pillowcase or I spray this 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 is called this works so I just spray that onto my pillow and I roll this onto some of my pulse points and this is a setup that I will always always have next to my bed this exact same setup so the minute all this finishes I'm going to replace it and my amethyst stone as well when I'm feeling really anxious I just take this into my hand and I rub it like a lunatic and I rub and I rub and I rub but that's and I love just before I go to bed 
look at that do my wee ritual and that just relaxes me and i like i said i have a silk 100% silk pillowcase as well and that just relaxes me as well and it's good for your skin and your hair as well okay that's my other setup now my final item is my filofax because this just keeps me organized look at the size of that and it's, again it's not something that i use all the time but it's there when i need it and i have everything in the one place it's big enough that i can organize everything so in here i have all my youtube things in here i have my gratitude list if i want to start writing down what i'm eating sometimes i'll get when i go i'm going to write down everything that i'm i just put it in here it's all look it's all sectioned off in sections for when i need it i do not put pressure on myself to do it every day but when i need it when i need to take that time out and sit down and do gratitude i even have here this is kind of my wellness page right at the look right at the beginning and i just right at the beginning of the file of acts and i just write things down that sometimes i just need to read to myself choose something that matters more practice willingness don't avoid accept as a really really good thing with anxiety accept your anxiety just face it and that way you're letting your brain know there's actually nothing to be fearful of build emotional muscle like i can do this you know not to think negatively all the time that's what that means it's like yes i can do this build your emotional muscle let go of perfectionism it's okay to mess up now and again <laughs> basically you know you've got to let go as well of i can't handle this i can't do this that's all negativity and you need to remind yourself that most situations are safe write down your fears and face them a step at a time so actually write down what are you actually afraid of what is actually giving you anxiety like when i spoke about my anxiety in my last in one of my vlogs in one of my recent vlogs it was the fear of death that's what it was face it you know at the end of the day we're all gonna die aren't we it's gonna happen so you face that fear now the thing that really really helps me when i'm in that anxious mode is to accept my anxiety when i'm in that when i when i'm feeling that and sometimes you know your anxiety you, oh the feeling oh, I, I i i can't even explain it it's such a fear and you just stop what you're doing and accept it it's a, it's a come on bring it on come on there's, there's actually because you you get that feeling and you th you think you're gonna die and it's really a fear and you just don't run away from it is what i'm saying to you don't don't try and avoid it don't avoid it which is what, what our natural instincts tell us you know all these things you know put the airpods on and all of that sometimes you're avoiding it for me that's how i'm dealing with it i'm not avoiding it i'm not doing it to avoid it i'm dealing with it at the time so what you need to do is sometimes just stop stop sometimes you you get kind of sway if you if you just stop when that anxiety hits you you can feel your whole body sway you just stop and accept it and it passes and you're letting your brain know that you're okay anyway that's some of my things that i do to help me that is like the, the, honestly all of those things when i get into one of those that's what i tr i tr honestly try and do it's hard because you know it's really hard to fight yourself because yourself is really really strong but remember i'm not an expert these are just the things that help me these and the occasional glass of wine cheers 
okay let me know what helps you because we are here to help each other because i really really loved reading the comments in my last vlog where i spoke about anxiety because it really does help me as much as it helps everybody that's reading them so thank you very much for watching and if you would like to see more videos from me they're not always as serious as this i'm gonna link one here here and if you're not already subscribed just press the a right here sometimes it's about cartier and sometimes it's about chanel bye